Despite a long history of science fiction stories that have shown just why it's such a terrible idea, it's alive! <laughs> humans have been playing God for as long as the world has existed. But it's not just Frankensteins and zombies, apparently. We're also good at creating animals, maybe. From human body parts grown inside a pig to a glow-in-the-dark dog, here are the 15 most bizarre animals created by humans. <laughs> <sighs> Number 15. Human Slash Pig Embryo I don't think we have to spend too much time delving into the motivations behind Mad Scientist. We all know the basic Frankenstein story. One man crazy. Three very Scientists come up with a crazy idea, they do it, the rest of the world watches and thinks, what the hell is wrong with you guys? Well, this one pretty much follows the same pattern. In 2017, scientists in Maryland successfully created the world's first human-slash-animal hybrid. Why did they do it? Well, it's better than you might be thinking. Scientists have long dealt with a shortage of donor organs, so the thinking is that they can grow human organs inside of animals. Yeah, totally normal. The experiment took human cells and introduced them into a non-human organism, in this case, a pig, to see if it would survive and thrive. And to everyone's astonishment, it did. So finally, you can get that pig-grown liver you desperately need. While the experiment has good motives, it's still undeniably weird. Growing human organs inside of animals just sounds like the stuff of dystopian science fiction. Honestly, it's kind of disturbing that this thing is even reality. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. It's time for the rare topic. And today's rare topic is actually pretty nightmarish. Honestly, it's hard to know whether or not this is a real thing. But man, I hope not. Take a look at this photo, which is allegedly a hybrid animal created by scientists in Asia. While we can't be sure what exactly it is, it looks to be an odd mix of a rhinoceros, a shark, and perhaps a whale of some sort? Whatever it is, it's not something I'd like to see up close. What do you think about the photo? Is it real or is it just a very convincing fake? Comment down below with the hashtag RareTopic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 14. Transgenic Dog I like to think that the premise for this experiment was pretty simple. A scientist was tucking in their child and turned off the nightlight, probably dog-shaped, and the literal light bulb turned on. That's about it. Meet the world's first real-life dog nightlight. Okay, so it may not be a nightlight necessarily, but this beagle has been genetically cloned using specialized fibroblast cells. Fibroblast cells are usually produced by sea anemones and express a red fluorescent gene. So, when this dog is underneath ultraviolet light, it quite literally glows red. Yeah, it's a super adorable glow stick. Now I know what you're all thinking. What's the point of it? Great question. Apparently, the scientists behind the experiment are under the impression that these transgenic dogs can be used to model potential human diseases, identifying the problem genes using the ultraviolet light. If that makes any sense to you, I applaud you. The glow-in-the-dark beagle is a pretty bonkers creation, even for the mad scientists. Unless you're a scientist or a medical expert, I'm not sure that it's going to make a lot of sense to any of us. But at least they're cute. Number 13. Spider Goat it's not quite Spider-Man, and it's not quite Spider-Pig, but Spider-Goat is a creation and a league all of its own. It's only a matter of time before we get around to the inevitable introduction of Spider-Goat into the Marvel Cinematic Universe. In 2010, University of Wyoming researchers developed a whole new way to incorporate the silk-spinning genes of spiders into the goat's genetic code. With this, scientists can harvest the silk protein within the goat's milk for additional purposes, including medical use and bulletproof vests. This unusual silk protein has most of its scientific applications in the form of artificial ligaments and jaw repair, to name but two. 
So to sum it up, Spider Goat is not so much a hero, but a real lifesaver in every way. And I don't think any of us expected that when we heard the words Spider Goat. While the likelihood of you seeing Spider Goat fighting alongside Thor and the other Avengers is pretty minimal, this is definitely one of the real life heroes of the world. And if you ever have to use an airbag, say thank you to Spider Goat! Number 12. Featherless Chicken The science community is probably one of the most diverse anywhere in the world. For every genius invention or discovery, there's someone ready and willing to debunk, criticize, or outright trash it. Take, for instance, the Featherless Chicken, a creation that was received with both awe and pure intense loathing. <laughs> The featherless chicken was created by an Israeli geneticist from the Hebrew University of Jerusalem, who had a pretty clear goal for his work. He wanted to create a new chicken that was lower in calories, quicker to grow, environmentally friendly, and able to survive in warmer climates. Not a wrong motivation, but people were still not happy about it. After crossing a naturally bare-necked chicken with a regular broiler chicken, the geneticist created a featherless chicken, which, scientists said, would be a problem. Those that had prior experience with naturally featherless chickens noted that they suffer much more than the regular kind, while one scientist described the creation as disgusting. You have to appreciate the honesty at least. The featherless chicken is a creation of man that serves a specific purpose, but it's clearly one of the more controversial intentions, I think it's fair to say. You won't be seeing Kentucky Fried Featherless anytime soon. Number 11. Belgian Blue Cow Cows are already pretty beefy animals. Ha! Get it? Beefy? Uh, Alright, I'm uh… I'm sorry. My point was that cows are already pretty big animals in their own right. But some cows are just built to be something… well, take a look at this. The Belgian blue cow is a huge, muscular beast of an animal that was perhaps unsurprisingly, created by humans. This cow is the product of mixing local Belgian cows with the shorthorn cattle found in the United Kingdom. After a series of breeding, the Belgian blue cow was born and quickly became a popular choice for dairy and beef. And honestly, when you have this much muscle on one animal, can you blame them for using them mostly for food and drink purposes? It's either that, or you enter it into some kind of bizarre animal weightlifting contest, which, to be fair, probably exists somewhere in the world. The Belgian blue cow is just one example of an animal created by humans that actually is not a complete disaster. While some human-conceived animals are weird, the Belgian blue cow is still one of the most popular cattle in the world. Can't argue with that. Number 10. See-Through Frog Whenever we deal with humans meddling with nature, we always have to remember the critical lesson from Jurassic Park. Just because you could doesn't mean you should. Well, in the case of this thing, scientists could and did, but probably shouldn't. The see-through frog is one of the strangest animals on our planet. Gonna Mostly because it doesn't really have any reason to exist. When scientists decided to cross a grey-eyed and black-eyed frog with recessive genes, they didn't really have any specific motive for it. It was just a casual experiment. The frogs that came out were wild, but pretty typical, thanks to their shared dominant genes. However, the, um, shall we say, keep it in the family approach that these frogs had to reproduction meant there were some pretty freaky consequences. Thanks to this, um, close family bond, the offspring were born with translucent skin. And when those children became adults, you can see all their internals through their skin. Freaky! It could be argued that the see-through frogs were not technically the creation of scientists. But had scientists not crossed these frogs in the first place, they wouldn't exist today. Although maybe we should introduce some of these frogs to specimens outside of their family. Because yikes. Number 9. Aqua Advantage Salmon 
Say what you will about the health risks of genetically modified food, the FDA seems to consider this stuff to be even better than fresh. The United States has long been the world leader in genetically editing its food. But it wasn't until fairly recently that fish became okay for human consumption. Who knew? In the mid-1980s, scientists began investigating potential routes to artificially engineer salmon, a popular fish that takes some time to grow to market size. As years of research passed, the first truly artificial salmon was created in 1989, after scientists managed to identify the DNA sequence of a growth hormone gene and modify it. The salmon could now be grown to market size in around 16 to 18 months, half the speed of the natural stuff. This single change allowed the scientists to breed the fish all year round, as opposed to just seasonally. Unfortunately, the FDA was not quite ready to approve it in 1989. That FDA approval didn't come until 2015 when Aqua Advantage salmon was officially authorized for human consumption. In 2019, the import ban was lifted and salmon became the first genetically modified fish to get the seal of approval. Would you feel comfortable eating it? Number 8. Human Milk Cows so that's a bit of a misleading title, but it's not totally inaccurate. Look, everybody knows that animals produce different types of milk, right? We have human breast milk, cow's milk, sheep's milk, goat's milk, and I'm pretty sure we could have pig's milk if someone were brave enough to try it. But some scientists in China and Argentina have somehow managed to clone cows that can produce almost 80% the same as human breast milk. Even here behind my computer, I can hear you asking the question, why? My answer is simple. I don't know. The researchers behind the experiment have made clear their intention to eventually produce the milk on a commercial level, which has really not clarified anything. But what we should take away from this pretty startling revelation is that the scientists themselves are thrilled about the whole thing. And therefore, it's still weird. I don't know what else to say. While it is a pretty amazing scientific experiment, it's unclear what the ultimate purpose of this whole thing is. And honestly, having seen just how excited the scientists are about it, I'm not sure I want to find out. Number 7. Zorse We've covered a lot of hybrid animals on our channel. Scientists seem to love nothing more than taking two animals and mixing them like chocolate and peanut butter. Of course, it doesn't always turn out as harmonious as that mix. But in the case of the Zorse, it's pretty close. In case you didn't figure it out, the Zorse is a hybrid of a horse and a zebra. The animal has been a popular hybrid since the 19th century, although it has something of a unique existential problem. It cannot survive without human interaction, because zebras and wild horses cannot mate in the wild. They're basically reliant on artificial means of creation, which explains why there are so few. However, the few that do exist are known to be incredibly sturdy and reliant animals, mostly used as working animals or as tourist attractions for curious folk around the world. The Zorse is undeniably one of the most beautiful hybrid creations ever to walk the Earth, as well as one of the rarest. It's no surprise people travel so far just for a glimpse at one. It really is the peanut butter cup of the natural world. Number 6. Zonkey in case you didn't already know, the zebra hybrid industry is a big business. While the Zorse may be a popular animal in captivity, the Zonkey is one of the few natural hybrids that can be found in the wild. And they're adorable, which is really just a bonus for everyone. The Zonkey is a hybrid created from the interbreeding between a zebra and a donkey, two species of the horse family. While they may differ in some genetic areas, these two animals have been known to mate in the wild, producing natural hybrid zonkeys near human settlements. That perhaps explains why there are so many of them all around the world, often kept as tourist attractions in zoos and similar facilities. However, while they can be found in nature, the majority of zonkeys found in zoos around the world were bred by humans. But we won't hold that against them. They're pretty 
adorable. The Zonkey is one of the most common hybrid animals anywhere in the world, and it's pretty obvious why. I find it hard to believe anybody would turn down the opportunity to see a zebra slash donkey hybrid. Netflix can wait. I want to see a Zonkey. Number 5. Glowfish Night lights, glow sticks, genetically modified fish. Just three things that glow in the dark, thanks to the wonder of our modern technology. In case you haven't heard of the genetically modified glowfish, it's basically a term that refers to any kind of fish that has been modified to glow in the dark. Back in the early 2000s, scientists in Singapore discovered a way to manipulate the genetics of fish in a way that allowed them to fluoresce or light up. According to these scientists, Scientists, the goal of these experiments was not, as assumed, to create a species of toxic-looking neon fish, but to detect toxins in the water so that local communities could identify polluted waterways. By manipulating their genetics, the scientists hoped to find a way to make the animals selectively fluoresce when in the presence of toxins. As of 2020, that has not happened. But they have done the next best thing, commercializing glow-in-the-dark fish for the aquarium market. Well, I guess if you can't use the fish for the good of the community, do the next best thing. Make money, right? Today, there are 12 species of glowfish on the market, all of which are bright under normal light and practically radiant under blue or black light. But the big question is, would you want one in your aquarium? Number 4. Savanna Cats whether you're a cat person or a dog person, I think everyone is generally pretty happy with the size of their pets. But for some, bigger is always better. That's where the Savannah Cat comes in, a hybrid between a wild cat and a domestic cat. How intriguing! The Savannah Cat was developed by breeding a wild African serval with a domestic Siamese cat. Stay. creating a new species that crosses a wildcat appearance with a more reasonable domestic temperament. That, of course, is something we should be thankful for. You don't want a wildcat running around your house. The International Cat Association finally recognized the savanna as an official breed in 2001, with a Guinness Book of World Records naming it the world's tallest domestic cat. Soon after, in 2006, that record incidentally has yet to be broken. The savanna is one of the most intriguing and unusual domestic cats anywhere in the world. It's hard to think of any other household pets that were developed by mixing a wild cat with a domestic one. And really, that's probably for the best. Number 3. Enviropig She's the environmentally friendly hero we never knew we needed. The Enviropig is here to help us save the planet from climate change disaster, one poop at a time. This sounds like a joke, but it really isn't. This is the most environmentally friendly pig in the world. Man, it does sound like a joke. The project began when a biologist at Ontario's University of Guelph began genetically modifying pigs so that their salivary glands would secrete phytate, a phosphorus-heavy molecule found in grains. You see, all animals, including pigs, need phosphorus to live. But pigs can't digest phytate, and they poop out almost all the phosphorus they eat, which then gets swept out into our planet's oceans, where it feeds algae, creates oxygen dead zones, and kills much of the underwater wildlife. So, the university's biologist modified the animal's DNA to allow that phosphorus to leave the body via saliva, as opposed to, you know. As a result, the pigs poop about 40% less of this toxic junk than they otherwise would. The Enviro pig is, as yet, not a species that has caught on worldwide, but it's a perfect example of a bizarre human intervention that may actually end up doing much good all around the world. Long live Enviro pig! Number 2. Liger as humans, we are pretty much conditioned to be afraid of big cats of any kind. 
be it lions, tigers, or Garfield. But there's one big cat more terrifying than any other on Earth, the lion-tiger hybrid, most commonly known as the Liger. The Liger is the result of crossbreeding a male lion and a female tiger, just in case you somehow hadn't worked that out from the name. As a species, they tend to grow significantly larger than their parents, which may sound crazy, but there's a ray of light. While these animals are, obviously, very agile and adept predators, there's really no need to worry. The liger is an entirely man-made creature, as the social behavior of lions, a famously sociable animal, and a tiger, a notoriously not sociable animal, do not overlap. Because neither of these animals would ever consider breeding with the other, it falls to humans to forcibly mess with nature and possibly kill us all in the process. It's a risk they're willing to take. The liger is, like most hybrid animals created by humans, mostly just a tourist attraction at this point. But it's an intriguing one at least, because this animal isn't really like either of its parents. And yet, it is. That's either profound or stupid, but I said it, and that's good enough. Number 1. Dolly the Sheep I'm not sure most people ever thought that the cure for Parkinson's disease would come from a sheep. But Professor Sir Ian Wilmot certainly did, and his creation, Dolly the Sheep, quickly found her way into the history books for it. Her name is Dolly. In 1996, Wilmot successfully completed the first cloning of a mammal from an adult cell, officially proving that specialized cells could create an exact clone from the original source. This revelation helped other scientists prioritize their own work, finding a way to cure diseases such as Parkinson's. Of course, this never quite worked out in the way that any of us would have liked. Parkinson's is still around today, and without a cure to boot. Still, scientists continue to believe that Dolly's creation has made a significant impact on stem cell research, which may yet offer up a solution to these devastating diseases. There's no question that Dolly is the most famous sheep ever to have walked the earth. While some will find her creation controversial or wrong, it's clear that her birth may have some positive scientific benefit going forward. Yes, a sheep has a more meaningful legacy than you. How about that? Which of these animals do you think is the weirdest? Let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.